for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I'm still being joined by Fusco because I haven't managed to get rid of him yet. As I was saying, it's like 12 hours. Yeah. Anyway, I was sent this thing. The Sniper Blaster Targets 2-in-1 Inflatable Target. Apparently it has an alien on one side, which is very fitting with all of this Area 51 nonsense. And clowns, because <laughs> who doesn't want to shoot at clowns? So I want to see how they, how big they are. They aren't very tall. I, if there was any chance whatsoever that I could actually manage to find the zombie targets that are in this shop somewhere, I would compare it to that. But that is a forlorn hope at the moment because I can't even find my camera mount in this mess, which is why I built the loft so I could start moving boxes out of the way. Anyway, anyway, we're going to take this thing and we're going to see how it works and then we're going to shoot it. What are we shooting it with? Yes. We're going to shoot it with that. Because if it can live up to that, it can live up to anything. Give me the, give me the thing. It's a note. Warnings. Do not eat. Adult supervision required. I need an adult. I'm Suitable for ages adult. six plus. Well, that's you out. Uh, keep away from intense heat. Do not use in extreme conditions. Do not use your inflatable clown in a tornado. Be aware. Suitable for indoor or outdoor use, just not during tornadoes. Uh, do not use near sharp objects. Do not sit or climb on target. Target intended for non-commercial use only. Use target on ground level. Do not inflate or use on hard, rough surfaces like asphalt. Target is not a flotation device. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Colors may fade with use. Retain instructions for future use. Cleaning and maintaining troubleshooting. Troubleshooting? It does include a repair, repair kit. Repair kit. A complimentary repair kit. Well, that's just neat. Assembly. Pump not included. Unfold target. Add water to base. Do not overfill. Firmly close plug. After filling water chamber, or instead of using a water chamber, locate the base stabilization chamber at the bottom of the target. Open the plug. Oh, that's how to empty. Wait, right? no. Inflating the stabilizing base ring. Main chamber inflation. Right. Well. Is that the repair kit? I think it is. No. Yeah. It's just, just tape. Probably really strong tape. Okay. So. On one side we have creepy clown, other side we have creepy alien. Let's uh, go put some water in it, and then and then, and then uh, some air, and, and then hopefully we... not take either of those things back out of it. Yeah. Onward. All right. So miraculously, I was able to find one of the uh, Nerf zombie strike targets. Uh, this one is a little bit shorter and is a regular shape, whereas the zombies one has the arms and the head and all of that, which has some issues. But other than that, they're roughly the same surface area, probably. And uh, they both have weighted bottoms. The zombie strike one is obviously much more convoluted looking, creepy looking, what have you, whereas this one is much simpler, which has advantages and disadvantages. So depending on what look you're going for. But, uh, yeah, that I don't know if you can even still get the zombie strike one, so that's something. They both have, uh, score areas. The head on this one is 50, the torso is 25, and... <laughs> yeah. I was just looking at that. Yeah, let's take a look at the zombies. Same thing on the zombie one. Yeah. Apparently you're supposed to shoot him in the bladder. Why his... Right shoulder is 100 points, I have no idea. But, uh, heart shot is 25, bladder is 50. The zombies, mm, yeah. 
As long as it was yeah. 75 on the leg, also. This is true. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna shoot them with some stuff to see how they react. Uh, so this should be fun, and then we're gonna be silly. Hopefully, we don't put any holes in it because we are shooting an FDL. It's not on max power. It should be fine. Light them up. Very satisfying thump. Doesn't fall over. So, I'm sure that never happens. You didn't see a thing. Anyway. Yeah, so they definitely aren't going to fall over from regular use, which is good because that's kind of the point. Um, yeah. So, yeah, inflatable targets. If you wanted some inflatable targets, here's some inflatable targets. Sniper-o. All right. Let's go be silly. As we approached Area 51, we discovered that the aliens have in fact broken out and have armed themselves. We have to cover this clearing and get into the woods to take cover. Hopefully we don't encounter any resistance. Hopefully the human guards have not been turned into some sort of zombie thralls by the alien technology. Spoiler alert. They Man. totally have. <laughs> All right, here we go. Go, go, go. Let's go. <laughs> Zombie down, zombie down, moving in, moving in. We gotta clear some building. Move in, move in. We got them both moving out, moving out. Go, go, go. Check that corner. You tiny green scum. Corporal Fusco has fallen. Luckily, I picked up this alien, so he's going to talk about uh, himself. Yeah. Um, so, tell me about yourself. What are you made of? What, are, what, what is this? So it's it seems to be a fairly, fairly durable rubber. Actually, like I think it's, it feels to me to be thicker than the, uh, the Nerf ones. I don't know how good the seam is, but the material is solid. Is that a polymer of some kind? Space age polymers. Yes. I survived blackberry bush. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, the area that we were running around through, it said, don't you use it on like. Asphalt. We were using it on rocks, blackberry bushes, trees, shooting it with an FDL. Um, and it, it seems no worse for wear. I don't see anything that looks like a... Actually, some of those might actually be marks. Yeah, those are definitely marks where the rubber, rubber of the thing has been slightly marred, but... Um, I don't think there's any risk of it breaking. I mean, if you were shooting at point blank range with an FDL long enough, you'd probably break through. But for regular usage, uh, it'll probably be fine. So I plan to use this in future testing videos. I'll just have it in the background and it'll get shot at until it finally dies. And then we'll really know how durable it is. So yeah, uh, links to where I got it will be down in the description. I think I ordered it off Amazon. So, you know, all the goodies of Amazon ordering, which is always nice. And, uh, yeah, I like it. Thank you for sending it. Thank you for watching. Then for it!